could it be possible for an impossibly possible genetically scientifically modified food item to taste to resemble to look as good as beef the folks at impossible lab seem to think so and red robin seems to think so because red robin has just announced just put on every one of their restaurant menus the impossible burger version 2.0 it's the newest version red robin hit up your boy with a bunch of swag no joke literally i have a shrine now dedicated to red robin at my home they love the videos they hit me up they said justin we have the new impossible burger go check it out right now we're not even going to tell anybody for another couple of weeks so i did just that the impossible burger it is now at red robin nationwide the first major chain restaurant to bring this out and i'm here to check it out let's do it the impossible burger big bite Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host Justin, you guys. I'm here at Red Robin in Denver, Colorado to check out something brand new. <laughs> it is the impossible. The impossible has happened. Red Robin has brought out the impossible burger. Now obviously I got mine with cheese. The impossible is a vegan option. Of course, on a burger, you can add cheese, you can add mayonnaise, and still keep it vegetarian, but the Impossible is possibly the best vegetarian or even vegan burger option out. It is a new item. It is something that has only been able to be found at, like, literally, no joke, boutique stores, mom and pop restaurants. You'll sort of see the Impossible showing up on a menu. Now, Red Robin is the first major national franchise restaurant that has brought the impossible out to all of their menus. Now the impossible is this new plant-based protein that you keep hearing about. Now I'm certainly no vegetarian. I'm probably the best person to sample this impossible burger because I am definitely a meat eater. Of course I did add cheddar on there and I subbed onion rings. Now this would not be a vegan option right now. This would be a vegetarian option. And I just want to stop talking for just a second. Take a look at that cheese. Vegans turn your head. Uh, Red Robin has not introduced a vegan option cheese, but of course you can get it with no cheese. They are only selling this as a cheeseburger, not a hamburger. Make sure you check out my playlist. I've done several burgers at Red Robin. This thing is hot, man. It is fresh. Let me unwrap this, this burger. Oh man, this is the new Impossible 2.0 whoa cheeseburger honestly the best looking vegetarian burger i think i've ever seen probably that i'm ever going to eat whoa it looks like meat it has the smell of meat so people that have uh allergies certainly if you're sensitive to meat and you want a good vegetarian burger i'm told that red robin knows how to prepare it it's a quarter ounce patty they are putting uh, their famous Red's pickle relish on there. In addition to that, there's onions, pickles. Look at the patty. God, it looks like real meat. It's even uh, got that greasy factor to it, which is a good thing. There's no like sprigs of carrots and broccoli sticking out of this. This thing doesn't look like a Boca burger. This thing looks like a real burger. You got shredded lettuce on there, mayonnaise, tomatoes. It is a classic looking cheeseburger, an American cheeseburger, except it has the newest Impossible Burger patty. This is it. This is the new Impossible Cheeseburger at Red Robin. Let's do it. A first bite. Big bite. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. The burger really does taste like a burger. I swear. It is, uh, it's super juicy. This is a great way to present this burger. I think Red Robin has some of the best gourmet burgers out. They certainly provide a lot of toppings. This is just a very basic cheeseburger. They're a four ounce, um, vegan patty they're mainly made up i think of uh, potato starch there's soy in there 
Certainly it is a plant-based protein. That is the new term. Gone are the days of the veggie patty, which I think really turned a lot of people off. They were very dry, very bland. You could literally see the vegetables in them. Gross. Mmm. This burger has that characteristic of beef. The patty is easily the best vegetarian or vegan burger patty I've ever had. And I know I'm covered in super swag, so it seems like I'm being paid to say that. But you guys know I keep it legit here on the channel. Nobody buys me off. Nobody pays me anything. Except for my super great Patreons. Shout out to all of my Patreons. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Click down in the link below in the description to subscribe to my Patreon. While you're down there, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Check out my other videos, my playlist. You guys, we have already surpassed 26K. We're almost at 27. Let's just count it to 30. We're almost to 30,000 subs. Thank you so much. This is a fantastic example of a vegetarian burger. I mean, it is no joke. This is a fully vegetarian meal. I think technology and food science has gotten so good. Mm. That we are soon going to see a widespread change in the way that we eat. Certainly the way that we think about food. Now, I had to do a little research about the Impossible Burger because I really didn't know much about it checked out the company's site, checked out some of the other food that they're offering, and it's really neat. The hype around this is certainly well-deserved because it's not just the newest thing out. It's actually a really good product. It's super innovative, and it definitely is going to help those who maybe want to transition to veganism, vegetarian, or those that have already been there, are there maybe for health reasons, for personal reasons, religious reasons, and you still want to have that occasional burger flavor. You can come out to Red Robin right now and seemingly forever because they now carry the new Impossible Burger. God! Mm. Again, being substituted on one of Red Robin's already existing fantastic burgers. Substitute the protein. You really would not be missing it. It is super juicy. It is seasoned right. This is a fantastic vegetarian burger. I never thought I would say that. The, the best I've ever had. I, I think between the taste, the value, and the overall appeal of this meal, this new impossible cheeseburger from Red Robin with these beautiful looking onion rings. Forget the lettuce there. Take a look real quick, real quick. Whoa! The onion rings look fantastic. The burger was fantastic. The Red Robin meal was a win. On a scale of one to 10, the impossible has possibly changed my mind forever. I think you need to go out and check this thing out. This thing would be up there, man. It's like an eight and a half. It's a really good tasting burger. It is the closest substitute to beef that I've ever had. And you guys know I'm a huge meat eater, obviously. I've eaten some of the biggest burgers in the world. So I know a thing or two about meat in my mouth. And because of that, I am gonna go in on it here on a last bite, big bite of the brand new Impossible Cheeseburger available now at all red robin locations thank you so much red robin for the super awesome swag for checking out the channel as always thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on fast food pit stops i'm your host justin you know you love it you came back for some more of it i'll be back for another fast food review let's do it we made the impossible possible now let's make it disappear Big bite! <laughs> <laughs>